Hey guys, welcome back to the channel in the kitchen with Nikki and Mike. Well, today is just your girl Nick, and I'm in the kitchen, and I'm gonna be doing some pig feet. Yes, we're gonna be making some pig feet today. Okay, some good, delicious old school pig feet here. All right, like my grandma, you know, not like my grandma. Got a little different thing my grandma did not use, okay? But it's all good, all right? It's going to be some good pig feet today. All right, let's get into these ingredients, guys, so we can get started. Because you know, if you know, you know, it's going to take about three hours and some change. Now, I could have went ahead and used my um, pressure cooker. But the last time I made them, I did it in there. And they were good. But it ain't nothing like some old school braised pig feet, okay? Nothing like it. All right, so let's get into this. You're going to need some salt and pepper. All right. Um, I got some fresh garlic. Um, probably about eight, nine cloves. Fresh garlic. You got, I got some onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. Okay, paprika. <laughs> paprika. Um, we got some chicken bouillon, which is concentrated. I found this at the Asian market. I was like, hey, we're going to try this. All right. Um, so I got some concentrated chicken bouillon. I have a chicken bouillon thing. So if you don't have that, of course, you go ahead and use this. I might use both. Okay, who knows? All right, so look, we got some thyme, some dry thyme. We have some um, apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, some uh, cornstarch. Of course, we got, we need your pig feet, okay, which I did clean already. Um, you're going to need some um bell peppers you can use any color you want i'm using green and um red today a couple of stalks of celery i did and an onion a whole onion all right so let's get going guys okay guys so i wanted to show you guys really quickly how i clean my pig feet i already started i only got five pig feet here and i already started to um clean them but what i like to do you find when I ain't clean, okay? You see here? In between that toe, you want to get that out, okay? So I try my best to get that out. I try my best to get that out. And I just take a knife and I dig with that knife. Just be careful, don't cut yourself. And get that out. Okay? So that's what I'm doing here. Get that on out. And also, I got me a little cheap razor blade right here. And if you feel any hairs on your pig feet, you want to go ahead and just go down like you're shaving your legs, honey. Okay? <laughs> All right. And I like to get my pig feet. It don't matter if they cut up. Sometimes you can get your pig feet like this. Sometimes you'll actually get, a, um, you know, the ham hock on here. You know, and when you do that, it will um, have more meat on them. You know, above the foot, you'll get that leg piece. Oh, my. And you'll have more meat in there. Those, I like when I find those. You go to the butcher. If you find get those if you can. You know what I mean? But these will do. These will do. These will do. So in this water, I have just some salt. My pig feet were frozen, so I had set them in some salt water. And, um... Basically, I just, I let them throw out in the sink. All right. And we can move on to the next. And same thing. And then I'm going to go ahead and rinse them off. Wash them with some more salt water. You know what I mean? Wash them with some more salt water so the um, water runs clear. And then, I'll tell, I'll tell you what you do next, guys. You know? But make sure you don't got no hair. The last thing you want to do is bite down on a pig foot. And you got some hair. You know? Ooh. So you want to clean that. Alright? 
So after that, you matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is um let these boil. I'm gonna put some cold water in my pot, let them boil up for five to ten minutes, and um then I'm gonna take them, drain them, rinse them back off. What I'm doing right here, rinse them back off, and then we're gonna start the cooking process. So I'll see you back when I'm done. All right, guys, so look, first thing we're going to do, we're going to pre-boil these, okay? We got a pot of cold water, okay? You're going to put your pig feet in there, all right? You don't want to put anything in here with your pig feet. Basically cleaning them for a second time, all right? When I, I, I showed y'all everything, which I need to do, how you clean your pig feet, you know? But this is a, a way, this is how my grandmother definitely did this, okay? She always boiled hers twice. You're going to... Put some cold water in your pot. Then you're going to um, let it come to a boil. And, if, you know, it may be some soot on top. It may not be. But you want to go ahead and boil this for at least 10 minutes, okay? Once it comes to a boil, give it 5 to 10 minutes, all right? And then you're just going to pour that water off. And pour that water off. Um, and, and you can put your pig feet in the strainer. Put your pig, you know, pour it off in the strainer. You're going to go ahead and rinse your um, pig feet under cold water. Make sure you get all the, you know, whatever's on there off of it. And um, you're going to reintroduce your pig feet to the pot with your seasonings and peppers. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and chop up my vegetables and get that situated. And we'll be right back, okay? All right, guys. So we're back with the pig feet. They've been boiling for about 10 or 15 minutes now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and um, change out the water, rinse them off, and put them back in a pot with some fresh water. Okay, and I'll be right on back. Okay, guys, so let's get to seasoning our pig feet. All right, so got our vegetables chopped up. I'm going to go ahead and add some of these to the water. Okay. Just cover your pig feet. I put a little extra water in there because they're going to be on for a while, okay? And these vegetables are going to be down to pretty much nothing, but they give it a lot of flavor, okay? Uh, some onion powder. About a tablespoon. Tablespoon and a half. You, know, you got to season your water, right? Some garlic powder. Same amount. Tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. Okay. I'm going with some red pepper flakes. A teaspoon. A teaspoon of black pepper. I'm go ahead and drop my chicken bouillon in there, the dry one. The black. All right. Some paprika, about a teaspoon, tablespoon, just for color, right? Okay. I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of thyme. About a teaspoon of salt. garlic fresh garlic cloves if you want to have the mince the ones that come in the jar put that in there you know put that in there as well okay about a fourth cup uh, your apple cider vinegar okay So 
of all, first let me get something because I find that, and you're seeing that I had the, uh, the cornstarch here. I forgot to open it up, so give me a second, okay? I find that putting the cornstarch and water in, it breaks down the pig feet faster or it breaks it down nice. It really, because it's good, you don't really don't need it, but I enjoy it because just like it breaks down your chicken or if you had it sitting on there, I feel like it does something to the pig feet um, skin because that's what it is, really skin, um, gelatinous um, little gristles and tiny bit of meat, like I was saying. And if you know, you know, right? But, um, oh, excuse me. Um, but it does something to the skin for me, like it breaks it down. So, like I said, I'm going to add that. I got some water in here. got some cornstarch. About two to three tablespoons. I'm pouring this concentrated chicken bouillon inside of here. Okay. So, that's what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to put some of this Worcestershire sauce the inside of here, too. About two tablespoons, two and a half, three, because we got a lot of water here. All right. Take this off, mix it on up. Okay, we're going to add that to the pot. Okay. So we're gonna cover it. I'm not gonna put the lid because, as I said, I probably put a little too extra, so a little too bit much water in here. I only got five pig feet, child. I don't know what I was in here thinking, but anyway, it's all gonna work, okay? So don't put your top all the way on it if you did what I just did. But if you didn't, anyway, just put it like this. I put um warm water back in here. I'm on the cold side, so I gotta come up to a boil. So leave it cracked. So you don't have no over, overflow um, stuff all over your stove. All right, so we're going to let these pig feet go for, like I said, about three, three and a half, four hours, okay? When they get tender, you know, fall off the bone. Delicious. All right, very simple recipe, guys. Easy and simple. All right? All right, see you back in a few. Okay, guys, so... We are at our three hour mark. Our pig feet is done. I'm gonna turn off this fire. Okay, they are nice and tender. You see that skin? I don't know if you can see really good. My honey, they are done the way I like them. Nice and tender. Wait, let's see. I got my hand all in the way. You see that? Let's go ahead and plate these bad boys up. I'm pairing this with some white rice. Really don't even need that. But being that I got this nice little gravy here. Which of you don't use the cornstarch is all good. Okay, because it, once it cools down, it will definitely be gelatinous -y, you know, thicken up your little gravy here. But I suggest you go ahead and do it. You want, you know, so you can have this little gravy, especially if you're eating over the top of some rice. All right, so let's go ahead and make us a plate, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, this is the end results of our pig feet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like what you're seeing, give this video a thumbs up, guys. Hit that notification bell. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. You know what to do. Let's go in and try this. Now, of course, we're going to need our hot sauce. I love Texas Pete. So let's go ahead and open that and start putting a little bit on here, baby. Mmm. All right. Now, you know I had some. Nice and good. Oh, my gosh. Going in for a bite. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Tender. Well, you know, that's what it takes. Make sure your 
you know, the skin, you know, get that perfect texture that you're looking for. I bought my braised hours for like three and a half hours. Three hours. Three hours. So, that's what you need. Yours are a little tougher. Keep going. Sometimes I may need three and a half, four hours, okay? Delicious. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Subscribe and join the family. Have a blessed night. Later.